Hey there, and welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record a bill paid with personal money. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And real quick, if you have not checked out the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, uh, it's not just training tutorials over there, but it's also personal support. So with a purchase of the training tutorials, you're not only gonna learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. I also have, uh, uh, I offer personal support. So when you have your specific QuickBooks questions through a private Facebook group, a forum, and email, I answer your questions to make sure that you get on the right track. It's a one-time fee, uh, it's a lifetime membership, access to all updates, uh, and it's, it's a fantastic resource when you're trying to use QuickBooks to its fullest extent. So check that out, qbuniversity.org. Okay, so what I wanna do in this video is walk through uh, when you have a bill in QuickBooks. Uh, I came across this situation this week with a, with a client uh, that uh, my firm works with, and they ended up paying a company bill with personal money, okay? And so we need to record that in QuickBooks. And I wanna show you a quick and easy way to do that because uh, this can come up quite a bit in a small business. Uh, you know, if, if they're needing some money, some cash, and they need to pay a bill and the owner says, you know what, I'm just gonna pay this bill and you can, you know, pay me back later uh, is typically what the response is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you here. So in this sample company file, we're gonna go to pay bills. All right, and I'm gonna look at this first bill to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? You know, it could be any bill that you have in your QuickBooks file and uh, that you owe. Okay, so we're looking at this one, Chuck E. Cheese, all right? So the owner says, you know what? Uh, they may come in like on a Monday or something and say, hey, I paid this bill. You know, can you take that off my bills that need to be paid? And I paid it with personal money, all right? So what you're gonna do, the, the easiest way, there's a couple ways you can do this, but you know, to me, the easiest way is just make a journal entry. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna go to the company drop down menu and you're gonna go to make general journal entries. All right, so you're gonna put in the date that this was paid. All right, so we're gonna first, you have to reflect that this was paid Okay, so you don't want to put it to an expense, but what you want to do is put it to accounts payable. And the reason you do that is because this bill that we have here to Chuck E. Cheese is in accounts payable. We've already entered it in QuickBooks and we don't want to take it out of there. So we want to make an entry to accounts payable. All right, now when this happens, you want to debit this. I'm not gonna get into debits and credits and which increases and decreases, but in this situation, a debit decreases accounts payable. And so we want to reflect that. All right, so you're gonna type in the amount. Okay, let me just make sure that's the right amount, 377460. And here's another thing. If they only paid part of the bill, let's say it's $1,000, you can type in 1,000 or 500 or whatever it is. In this case, we're assuming they're paying the entire uh, 3,700 bucks, okay? Now, here's the kicker. You've gotta put in the name, okay? And this is the name of the vendor. So you're gonna put in Chuck E. Cheese, okay? And then down here, we have to reflect the fact that this came out of you know the owner's money, all right? You can do this in one of two ways. Uh, most times, most, bu most business owners will set up an account like this one that says due to owner. Okay, this is to reflect that this money is owed by the business back to the owner. Okay, or you can put it to equity. Okay, this is really a, a business uh, owner decision. Do they just want to show additional equity in the business? Or do they want to show that this money is owed to them and they want to get paid back? All right, a lot of times they're going to say, I want to get paid back. So. We say due to owner, same amount, and this time you don't have to put a name, okay? We have class tracking turned on in this uh, sample file, so we're gonna say this is overhead, and we're gonna say this is overhead. Okay, so now we've got this journal entry, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit save and close. Okay, all right, now the next step, that's the first step. The second one is you go to your pay bill screen, and you're going to check off Chuck E. Cheese, all right, so you see here amount to pay uh, and it's coming out of the checking and we want to assign a check number. 
here's what you have to do. You have to go to this set credits. You're going to see now in that journal entry when we set accounts payable and we si assigned it to that name Chuck E. Cheese, you're going to go to this total credits available and say set credits. Okay. So when we did the journal entry, it created a credit against this bill. And this is how you're going to clear this out of your bills to pay. So it's got it checked off. All right. And you just want to leave it checked. You want to hit done. And you're going to see here amount due 37.74.60. Credit used 37.74.60. Amount to pay zero. Okay. So you can leave all this assigned check number to be printed. It really doesn't matter because it's a zero payment. All right. So we say pay selected bills and it has cleared it out. Okay. So if we go to pay more bills, we go back to the bill pay screen, you're going to see Chuck E. Cheese is gone and uh, it has increased now the amount due to the owner. All right. So this is a way to record this uh, because it doesn't affect any cash at the business and uh, you will clear it out of the system. Any questions whatsoever? Uh, leave a comment below. Um, you know, happy to answer some of those really, really basic questions uh, for more in-depth specific questions about your QuickBooks file head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Click the become a member button and go through the checkout. And you've not only got uh, the training tutorials that show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks, how to use it to its fullest extent, but you've also got access to me to answer your specific questions. Website again, qbuniversity.org.